Hello everybody, welcome to my latest video. Today I'm running my first G-Scale Freight Train of the Year. Yep. Put a few of my real Grand cars together and formed this little train and she's heading down the track for a junction, wherever that might be. <laughs> so, they're all real Grand, um, and they're double and real Grand Western lettered, but the two in the middle are Bachman. The green one is LGB. The locomotive and tender, of course, are Bachman. And then the caboose in the back is a unaltered, except for Katie Kepler's Pico caboose. I think I like this caboose better than I like my uh, LGB Queen Mary. Mm, it's pretty nice. It's solid. Um, it doesn't have any lights in it yet, except for the, for the market lamps, which are flickering like sons of guns. But, you know, I think it's doing pretty well. I mean, the Queen Mary is nice. Most of those are old, you know, and I, I don't know if this unit's still in production. And if you need parts for them, well, good luck. I mean, at least with these, we can still get some parts. And the Picos are still in production, absolutely. Um, sorry, got hit in the finger. So, the next time you see this locomotive, it's going to have a, an anniversary cow catcher on the front end of it. I like the look of it better than I do the standard. So that's the only thing that's going to be changed on this locomotive. I happen to have a spare one now that I've got the other one. Um, it's on eBay, but right now on the Virginia Truckee 26. And um, I just I just think it has a slightly better design than the uh, standard one does. It's like, it's like a little bit better. I'm kind of thinking I might sell that LGB over there. Hmm. Just keep the Pico. I bought the Pico with the idea of maybe selling it, but then again, I realized that when I get back to where I can run two trains again, I'll have two uh, um, of the yellow VNRG and W Caboose store. So, I don't know. There is kind of a short in it right now in that lighting system. I found out it runs perfectly fine forward, as you saw in the last video that was in. But, uh, when you put the train in reverse, it sucks all the power away, so there's some kind of a thing going on with it. And I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, I might just go ahead and rip out that um, pre-made, you know, made um, lighting system in favor of one of my own, which never seems to have a problem whatsoever. I might do the same thing with this Pico Caboose, but I'm not sure because um, I know they offer a kit. Which is really nice, and I think it might be a couple of capacitors for that kit, but yeah, I might get that. It's kind of expensive, it's about $45, $50, but that one may be worth it. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to let her make one more pass. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.